So, Mr. Teen, tell us about your newest album, Comistics. I Wanna Smoke With You, Baby, is a major hit. Yeah. Well, you know, I've always thought that... <coughs> Mr. Teen, I'm not putting up with your publicity stunts anymore. Mr. Teen? Mr. Teen, please get up. I don't think this was in the script. Mr. Teen, get up. We're live. Uh, I don't think he's acting. He was never this good at acting. Oh, you're right. We need an ambulance. We need the police. We need... The city of Fieldspring has fallen victim to the crime apocalypse. Thieves, thugs, and bandits roam the streets of Fieldspring, killing or stealing from anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. No man, woman, or child will leave their homes lest they too fall victim to the wave of crime. But there is one man who seeks to change that. With his superior athletic ability, impossibly acute detective skills, and luxurious locks of golden hair, he will bring justice to the city of Fieldspring. And his name is Slick McDick, Ace Detective. I don't know what happened. One second he was regaling us with a story of how beautiful he was, and the next he was on the ground. <sighs> Knowing him, there's a good chance there was all those cigarettes he was smoking. Sounds a lot like, uh, Nick, alright? Do you know if the body was disturbed at all? Besides the paramedics attempting to revive him, I really don't think so. I'll take you to him, though. Thank you. I can't imagine how bad you feel knowing the great singer-songwriter Nick Teen died in your studio. You know, not really. He was quite narcissistic. Alright, Rook, what do you do first? Lunch. I'm not being new. Are you always thinking about. With the body, you dolt. Take a look at it. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Good to see you here, Dick Dick. I haven't been here too long, but I was able to take witness reports. The audience all claimed the same thing, that Nick Teen just dropped and died. Strange. He wasn't strangled, stabbed, choked, anything? Not that I know of. Uh, I found a glass of water uh, that the audience all say he drank. Um, what's interesting is, it's almost kind of funny. Weird. What's this? Looks like a receipt. Alright, Mark, let's get this evidence out. What do we have? Well, we got some dead people things. <sighs> this is gonna be a long day. Alright. Sample of saliva. Send that off to forensics. Get that analyzed. Same deal with the cup. We can't do anything with that yet. And cigarettes. Well, Seems he train smoked his way through the interview, but again, we can't do anything with those, so often forensics they go. Cigarette, cigarettes and nicotine. <sighs> Always go together. We have a receipt, which we can do something with. Looks like it's from. Smoker friendly. Nothing. Spinly? Sounds like a nicotine ish place to go. This place doesn't look too bad. It looks to be deceiving. Don't judge a book by its cover and all that jazz. 
Come on, there's the assistant manager. Hello, officers. How can I help you, sir? Have you seen this man? Ah, uh, yes. Um, he was in here about 3.30 p.m. yesterday. Uh, I think he sat at that table. You remember who served him? Uh, it was a new hire. Uh, what was his dumb name? Uh, doormat. Yes. Manager hired him probably because he didn't look too friendly, you know, with, like the nasty beard and really poor taste in hoodies. I see you have security cameras here. Mind if we take a look at them? Um, I'm not sure where they be, where like the photos should be, but once I find them, I'll give them to you immediately. Is the manager here? Uh, no, he's on lunch break right now. Wait, isn't this a diner? Why wouldn't he eat here? <laughs> no one would actually eat our nasty food. We were just leaving anyway. Come on, Mark. Go back to the station. All right, Rook, start writing. We know this guy died about 4.20 p.m. We also know that he got to the diner about 3.30 p.m. And with the horrible service there, probably took him about 10 minutes to be served and uh, 10 minutes to finish up. So uh, now we're at 3.50. And the studio is about 20 minutes away, so he must have arrived there at 4.10. Now that we have a timeline, we have to figure out what killed this guy. Let's get a sketch of Doormat and search the databases for him. Looks like we found him. He had a prior run-in with the Fuzz, so his name and prints were already in the database. Good. Let's go pick him up. This is the place. Dorian Matthews, also known as Doormat. That's me, yeah. What do you want? Do you recognize this man? Nick Dean? Yeah, everybody knows him. It's like asking me if water's wet. I don't know anything, so, uh, screw off. Really? Because that's not what your assistant manager said. He said that you served him yesterday. I have never. Wait, what? Single frick, aka Hitler too? He fired me last week. I haven't been back there since I've been back there since. Something here doesn't quite add up. Huh. There's someone who works at a smoker-friendly diner. He really doesn't like fire, does he? You know, you might have just said something smart. I did? Oh yeah! Do 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 And uh, there you go again. Make me wonder why I... Is that lighter fluid? For someone who's so anti-fire, it seems strange to have so much of this stuff in their possession. What are you doing in my office? I already told you all I know. Is that so? Mind explaining this? Oh, <laughs> I'm that. Well, you see, uh, there was an arsonist that came from our place, and we had to uh, take I mean confiscated from them. And you didn't see fit to call the police? It, it didn't seem like a problem at the time. An arsonist setting fire to your diner didn't seem like a problem? This amount of lighter fluid? Look, didn't get seem back like a those problem. Bottles. And while you're at it, get out. I don't think you'd be in here in the first place. Where's your warrant, by the way? Fine, jeez! Well, that seemed oh, suspicious. You wouldn't know what suspicious was if it came up and bit you. But I agree. It was suspicious. Forensic Detective Bread? You have info on our body? Yeah, we'll be right over. Come on, Mr. Nett. Who is that? Uh, our forensic specialist. Wait, who's Mr. Annette? Don't worry about it. Wait, wait, oh, no. Who's Mr. Annette? Who's that? No, no, I need to know. Who's Mr. Annette? Ah, 
It's like my ticket tick. Just the people I've been looking for. We found large amounts of C4H10 in Nick Teen's body. We also examined this cup and found trace amounts of C4H10 in it as well. C4? Wait, I thought we were dealing with poison, not explosives. No, you idiot. C4H10, butane, commonly used in lighter fluid. So you're saying he was poisoned by gasoline? Very likely. He follows all of the symptoms of chemically induced pneumonia. His tongue swelled, he was blue so he looked like a smurf, and when I was cutting him open, I could smell the chemicals coming off him. However, what's strange is the amount of in this glass wasn't enough to cause any major damage, much less death. And speaking of the glass... I read the fingerprints we found. This is definitely Mr. Teen's glass. So you're saying he ingested the liquid before he drank the glass of water, and there was enough gasoline left in the saliva to transfer back into the cup? That means he must better drink before the show. The, the diner. diner. If you need anything, I'll be back in the lab. So who do we know works at the diner, has lighter fluid, has lied to us on multiple occasions, and has a motive? The assistant manager. Here he is. Wait, actually that's right. Oh, right! I already regret saying that. Come on, man. It's gonna be your first arrest, Brooke. How you feeling? I'm pretty hungry right now, if I'm being honest. I could really arrest a sub sandwich now, you know what I mean? I can... Do you always think about food? Pretty much. What are you problems doing here? I thought I told you to get lost. It's your adjective is gonna get lost, pal. Cause you see, this time, we have a warrant. Oh, so you do. We're just gonna take a quick look around and uh, see if you need a resting. Um, what I can tell you is that I don't need a resting. Well, most people don't. But the lighter fluid in your office, you lined us on multiple occasions, Nick Teen eating here before he died, it all lines up. <laughs> That's all circumstantial. Nothing concrete on me. Find anything yet, Rook? Looks like I have. Take a look, Slick. Hmm. Is perhaps the security camera files we asked you for? Why do you say we watch these? See what happens. Hmm. Wait, say we do. Book him. You'll never catch me now. I did it! Yeah, I guess he did. <laughs> Rise and sign, sunshine. Did you hit me with that broom? No questions, prisoner! Make this short and simple. Did you kill Nick Teen? No, I did not. We have photographic proof of you pouring gasoline into Mr. Teen's drinking glass. Here to drink, sir. Sorry for you. Hey, so. Oh, it could have just been someone that was wearing my hat. Now, I'm willing to offer you a plea deal. Just admit that you killed him and you can get off light. With parole? Yes. Yes, I killed Nick Teen. But it was only because he smoked.